Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. All right, so this video is about basically me going back to Adam, right? So for the past two months, uh, I will say at the end of June, I started messing around with uh, Visual Studio Code. And that's because that I feel like that's my fault for letting the world influence me. <laughs> like, I love Adam, and Adam worked very well for me. Sometimes it was slow, but nowadays they fix that. Right, so it, it will get slow if you had a whole bunch of packages and and just like for me, like I used I used to have nuclide, was it nuclide or nucleide or I don't know, nuke ID or whatever you want to call it from Facebook, and that would make my atom super slow. So if I had a, a long uh, file like a JavaScript with a couple of thousand lines, um, it would just go slow. And then I realized, I was like, you know what, man? Let me try Visual Studio Code. So I tried Visual Studio Code. And to be honest with you guys, it's not that good. It's really not that good. You know, there's a lot of hype behind it. And one of the main problems is it's so difficult to get a package in. So like, let's say somebody who wants to create a package for, for Visual Studio Code, the process of it is very annoying. Plus everything has to be tied in with Microsoft because Microsoft is the creator of this. So not all the packages that are on Atom can be ported to Visual Studio Code, even though they both use Electron, but it's just really annoying because even like, let's say an example, let's say the formatting, right? Formatting sucks on, formatting sucks in, how you call it, in Visual Studio Code. So it's like, it's really a problem for me because I'm so used to like being able to beautify it and just make everything look nice and, and have ESLint give me the errors and I don't know. Right, I'm so used to Adam because of that, because all of the good things that it gives me that now come into Visual Studio for a little extra boost on speed between switching between files, it's not worth it because you lose so much. You know, it's like not all the packages that are on Atom are on Visual Studio Code. You know, I understand a lot of people like this Visual Studio Code and most most of the people are uh, Windows users because they're used to, you know, getting the, the whole Microsoft Kool-Aid. Like if you get the, the you know, Windows XP and whatever, what was it, Windows 10, and you're on that Kool-Aid, then, okay, cool. I will say, hey, why not use another product from Microsoft and, and just use this thing, right? But I'm being honest, guys, after trying it for two months, and I was going to go, you know, on the bandwagon and push this out there and I was gonna even create a course uh, teaching people how to use at um, Visual Studio that I was like you know what man I'm going back to Adam it's not right for me to teach people in Visual Studio Code because Visual Studio Code is not even up to par with Adam all the features that it has you know and all the packages I'm talking about you know thousands of packages in Visual Studio Code, there's, I don't know, a couple of hundreds, maybe. So, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, I, I'm going back to Adam. And then, what I would tell people is also, check out Adam Beta. So, there's the beta releases that they're pretty legit. They're pretty legit. And you could upgrade the beta releases um, as things come up. You know, so like, let's say they give you an update so you get the latest beta, right? And and it's great. It works. It works just fine. It works just like the, the regular Atom, but with all the fixes that are going to come in in the next two, three months. So you're always ahead of the curve. So that's what I do nowadays, right? Because in reality, 
if there's a little glitch, it's fine. Usually, the little glitches will be like something that you wouldn't even notice. It. The only people that would notice it is the people that are created at them. It, it won't affect your your you know your time on it and how you edit files. You will get all your packages. Everything works perfectly, exactly how it's supposed to. It's just now you're getting the latest uh, version of it, you know, before it even comes out, you know, because sometimes when they release something on the regular Atom, the IO is like a version before or even two versions before where they say, hey, this is stable. So there's no bugs in it, right? But to be honest with you, I don't care if there's a bug because this is just a text editor. I'm not trying to do you know like photoshop this ain't photoshop for me you know what i mean like this ain't adobe after effects like this is just a text editor just give me what i need make it fast which is what they did now and that's it like they fix whatever it was the problem that i had before which was just speed everything else I, I, of adam it's like amazing you get the best packages you get packages right away you get uh themes you get ui changes you can't even customize that well the the one from Microsoft Visual Studio Code. So for me, I'm really big on, on customizing things. I'm really big on I'm saying, hey, this is how I like my things. This is how I like to have my colors. This is how I like to have my functions, uh, uh, you know, italic. Or I like to have my, you know, how you call it? Like you guys know, I, I use standard JS for my standard for. Uh, JavaScript, you know, I don't use the Airbnb. I use standard JS. I don't like semicolons, and that's how I use it. And then it shows me everything that I need right there on the screen. Like, let's say if I have, if I do forget to put something, and I say I put a, a semicolon, it shows me right there on the screen. On this line, you put a semicolon, right? Or like, let's say for uh, JSX. It shows me all the errors on the screen. I don't have to look at the, the console log, like Visual Studio. I don't have to deal with none of that shit, right? So I think, like, that's it. It's official. I'm going back to Adam, guys. And um, I do apologize for the people that were waiting for a Visual Studio Code course because it's not coming, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not coming. I'm switching it up to the atom course um because it has everything that you need guys it has more than what people need like you have every single language that's out there you could have an amazing experience with atom like it doesn't matter it could be crystal lang it could be javascript it could be python it could be go it could be node it doesn't matter what it is like it's amazing like they've been doing their thing man and the fact that they upgraded and fixed all those uh, problems that they had, because I think it was like more like a, of a memory leak, where if there was too much um, or too many you know, packages on a single instance of the Atom, then it would just go super slow for no reason. So you will have to choose like all oh, four packages and that's it to make it go fast. So now you could actually just have like 20. Right now I have 40 something packages and everything's running smooth. I'm like, whoa. Like they really upgraded it. Like, trust me. So yeah, guys, we're going back to Adam. And that's what we're doing now, kids. Like, your boy's back. Adam, welcome back. You thought it was over? Nah, dogs. Listen, it's a whole new world right here, man. When you click show more, you're going to see everything, all right? You got 50% off to my website, codingphase.com, automatically because it came from YouTube. That's the coupon code, kids, all right? And then from there, you got uh, my sponsor links, of course. But it's crazy because I'm sponsored by them now, udemy.com. But it's crazy because they taught me how to become a developer when I was doing this by myself. And I'm proud to say that. I'm proud to say, hey, I'm actually a developer who's successful and I'm doing my thing thanks to you to me. Okay, guys, check those links out. Best instructors in the world, they're right there. Trust me, guys. Believe in me. All right. And then from there, you got the Discord, which is basically a chat room. 
it's a, a way to communicate with each other. Like, you know, all my friends are in there. You got your boy, Matt. You got your girl, Barbara. You got a couple of people in there. You know, we got Cam. We got the whole squad is in there. Guys, listen, check it out, man. Put in some time. Just click on that link, show more, and you will see all the most valuable links. All right, guys. Fun don't stop here, man. The fun don't stop just on this video. There's a whole community to this. CodingFace.com. I'll see you guys later. Bye.